Hi guys. So we are on our way to where? Where are we Destin, going? Florida. Destin, Florida. We're in the car right now. We're going to the airport. We're going to try to get seats together because someone didn't pick a seat online and someone is not sitting next to me. Somebody didn't want to book their ticket earlier and book seats the same day. Excuse me, we picked what seats we were gonna be in and I put myself in the seat that we picked, mm -hmm. but he didn't. Do you guys hear this thing going on? I don't know what to do to make that quiet because it's like, We'll have to snip those off. We need to snip them off. That's what we need to do. Because I feel like they're going to be on jiggly. There. I'm on a brand new vlogging camera right now. It's the Sony A5100. And the flip up screen is like above the lens. It's like here. I'm looking at it. Versus like next to it. So if I look up a lot, that's like what I'm looking at. I've noticed that a lot of vlogs people are looking up now instead of over, so I'm thinking that a lot of people actually use this camera. The over days are, are gone. This camera's heavier though. My arm is like already hurting. It's like gonna be a problem. I will build some arm strength. You're cheating right now. You have your arm resting on the side of the window. I know, and I have both arms, like so both of them. cheating arm. You're not even lifting the weight of the camera then. Oh, whatever. I don't know if you guys know this, but Maybe you do from Blair's throughout the year series. I don't know if I've talked to you guys that much over like what Destin means to me or like what part of my life Destin is. We have a house in Destin and it's the same house that my dad was raised in because my grandmother originally owned the house and then my dad ended up getting it from her when she was ready to sell it. And I was raised there too. So like every single summer growing up my entire life. You were reared there? I was reared there. Um, we would go, we would do a road trip literally the day school ended and we would drive down to Destin and we would spend the entire summer there, every single summer. And so I pretty much grew up there. Every summer in high school and in college I would get jobs there. I told you guys I worked at Hollister and Abercrombie and Dooney and Burke. That was all in Destin. I actually did work at the Hollister and Abercrombie in the Tri-Cities also, like where my parents live in Tennessee during the school year, but during the summers, I was always in Destin. I feel like in a lot of ways, Destin is more my home than any other state that I ever lived in because I probably spent more cumulative time in Destin at that house than I have any other place that I've lived because you guys know that we've moved around a lot. So yeah, it's just, it's really special. I just thought I would vlog some and Alex actually wanted to vlog some for this. Like he was like, no. we should vlog some in Destin. Yes, no. you did. Yes, I you just did. Peanut gallery. He thought that we should vlog some in Destin. So we are vlogging and we might not do every single day. We might just do like a few. If we feel like it. If we feel like it, we'll do it every day. We have a very long day ahead of us. We have two flights because there's no direct flights into the Destin area. Um, and then we rented a car, so we have to pick up the car. And we might not make it in time to pick up the car because we land 20 minutes before the car place closes. It's gonna be an adventure. So I will take you guys along with me. We are at the airport right now. Yep, we are here. So we made it onto the plane, and better yet, we got seats together. We did. The guy next to me was really nice, and he offered to switch with Alex. We're really hungry. We're really excited that we're gonna get to eat, because we're starving and we haven't had anything to eat yet today. We made it to Atlanta, but our flight is delayed by like two hours, which means the car place is gonna be closed where we're getting our rental car. So we don't really know what we're doing with our lives right now. Um, my mom offered to come get us from the airport, but we're flying into, there's not an airport in Destin. You have to either fly into Panama City or Fort Walton Beach. And so it's, it's a pretty far drive from either airport. And so my mom might have to come drive and get us at like midnight, which isn't ideal because we did want to rent a car. We want to have a car when we're in Florida. It's like if we don't rent it now, then we're gonna have to pick one up in Destin. When we try to drop it off, it will be at the wrong place, drop off center, because we wanna drop it off in Panama City so we can fly out. It's just really, really confusing, so. I went to Starbucks and I got us coffee. Tall, skinny vanilla latte. And he has a tall, skinny vanilla latte, and I just have a regular brew, like a house brew, with some milk You're in it. You're a tall, it. skinny vanilla latte. I'm a tall, skinny vanilla latte. Yeah. That's Am I the a drink. drink on a hot day, Alex? Yeah, but this is a like hot coffee. <laughs> oh my god. And, well, I guess, 
your hot coffee too. Oh my gosh, Alex, stop while you're ahead. <laughs> we're drinking our coffee and we're just hanging out. One of the better hanging airports out. to be stuck at. They have like infinity food choices here at Atlanta Airport. Which would be much more exciting except we ate on the plane, we're not hungry anymore. Well, everything's lit up, there's people walking around. Like this is not- It doesn't feel like a serial killer airport. Right. It's, it's more welcoming to just be in an area where there's actually people walking around existing. Oh, I put tape on those like side things that were jiggling, so can you hear it anymore? Nope. I basically covered them in blue and silver washi tape. Well, I can't film the camera. I'll show you guys in the mirror later. But also, I drew a little fake heart tattoo on my wrist in a pen because we might go get tattoos. I think we should. Alex wants to go get tattoos together in Florida. I do. What are you gonna get? Um, I don't know yet. He has no idea. Well, I might get a heart. Not on this wrist, I'd get on this one because I already have a tattoo on this wrist, but I don't know, I just drew it to see what it would look like. I also drew one on my foot, and Alex is like, that looks terrible, yeah. so I'm not gonna get it on my foot. Yeah, it, was, it was a little lopsided little heart. Well, <laughs> that was just my drawing skills. Your drawing skills on your wrist look pretty good, I would say. That was Blair. That, no, 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 no. Oh, this one? Yeah, that one. Yeah. It's, it, it's easy on the eyes. The one on your foot was like, it's a monstrosity. All right, so I just tweeted and I asked you guys to ask us questions and we're gonna answer like a few. The first question is from at Shy Kindle, does Alex like your planning? I do, I do, I'm a big fan. He actually looks at my planner spreads and he likes them. I have to admit that I've seen them and I, I, I kind of take some time out of the day to peek at them. At Precious Steph 98 says, what's your favorite spot for date night? On the count of three, let's say it at the same time, yeah? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, our On sofa. Yeah. We are definitely homebody types. At Fangirls Goot says, first thing you guys said to each other in real life. Man, I don't remember. I know he tweeted me first. I tweeted something about I was trying to get your attention. Drinking, and then he tweeted something like, it's wine o'clock over here. I wanted to make a nice- But I didn't see it for like six months because I didn't know who he was, so I just ignored it. And yeah. then when he DM'd me like six months later, I went back and I saw that one. That was, I don't know what I was thinking. I must have had a few wine o'clocks myself. <laughs> wine o'clock. <laughs> um, but in real life, we probably just said hi. Yeah. 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 And then we share quesadillas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went to um, Rainforest, Cafe. Rainforest Cafe and shared quesadillas. Yep. yep. At History Beauty says, what is one thing that is always in your carry-on? This is for both of you. So for me, there is always a pair of fuzzy socks in my carry-on. There's always not a Mophie cable in mine because I forgot it this time. He always forgets something when we're traveling, but he always has a Mophie with him, which is like a portable charger. Show them my backpack. There's a lot of stuff in here. Like it's basically, a turtle pack it's just always full yep I, I mean I travel with all the essentials I got him this backpack for Christmas and he literally stuffs it full and takes it everywhere with him yep. it's like his merce it's it's very merce ish at Rachie's 19 says describe the other person in three words tall skinny vanilla <laughs> latte <laughs> At Lelen Ellen says, if you could mix two animals together, what would it be called? A lion and a, a walrus. What would it be called? A walrus? What do walrus, walruses look like? They're like just a like, big, woo -hoo. fat, woo -hoo -hoo. like ugly seal thing with like huge tusks. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. No, no, more like, like a really low pitch. Woo -hoo -hoo. Like, yeah, exactly. And they have... And then last one is from at Enigma Perfect One, and she says, "What are each of your favorite movies?" Mine is Sweet Home Alabama, which I recently had him watch. It was pretty good. Yep, it was good. And what's uh, yours? I like more normal movies like Star Wars. Normal. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go eat maybe. Yeah. Or just like sit here. Or play Sudoku. Oh, we stole pillows from the airplane. We did. We stole pillows. So maybe just take a little nap. We stole pillows from the plane because we knew our layover was gonna be long because we knew our flight was delayed. All right, we're gonna go play Sudoku now. Bye. Bye. Say bye. 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 Say it like that. Bye. 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 That's a very strange way of saying bye. Say it. Say bye. I just want to say bye like a human.